My name is Christian. And I'm Sophie. And we both work in the Synthetic Biology Research Center here in Nottingham, uh, doing research in Cupria virus necator. Do you have like a more condensed name? Yeah, C necator. C, C, C necator. Yeah. I'm thinking like C diff, like that's really short. Yeah, C diff, that's cool. C, you have Cine. to call it C, C neck. We Cine. can say like, well, Cupria virus necator, also called C neck. You can call it Bob <laughs> if you want. <laughs> It's able to grow in hydrogen and also carbon dioxide, so like plants. Apart from that, it can be fed with sugars like glucose or fructose. The main goal here is to take out of the environment the polluting carbon dioxide that is responsible for global warming to feed our bacterium that's going to turn it into biodegradable plastics instead of producing these plastics from petroleum bases, we're going to produce it biologically, it's going to be biodegradable, sustainable and good for the environment. Yeah? Perfect. So my job is to find ways to efficiently and very precisely change the DNA. So you can have just a small change, like changing just a letter in a word. You can change a full word in a sentence, or you can change a full sentence. And when you change this, you rewrite the story of the DNA and you reprogram the bacterium behavior. So it can change colors, it can be resistant to a toxin or an antibiotic, or it can produce other molecules of interest that are usually produced from petroleum cracking or other very nasty processes. So be careful. Zoop. Sorry. <laughs> Look at that, it's amazing. Back home. So here we're going to create a library of DNA constructs. Each construct is going to be different because it's going to bring a different step into our route towards a different product. So building different constructs and mixing them together are going to lead toward the product of interest. And because we want to test a lot of different steps, we need to have an automated program. This is the most classical method we do in the lab. So thank you, the robot. <laughs> There are a lot of products who would like to try to produce this product. We need to change the route. We need to change some steps along the route. And so these steps are enzymes that are programmed by the DNA. So what we do is that we isolate all of these genomes and then we take only the bits that are interesting. And then we build up constructs that we implement in our bacterium and therefore they get a new function, new roots, new products. So after 24 hours of growth, bacteria have appeared on our agar plates. You can plate them on different patterns, the maze or this one there. And then you can see that you have different types of growth. And if you want individual colonies, then you can plate them in the compartments, as we have seen, or also as a pattern, but with diluting liquids. And then you can identify individual colonies that you're going to further test and bring to fermentation. I think that science can be an art because you can create anything. Instead of doing graffitis on walls, you can do graffitis on agar plates. Isn't it amazing? Once we have built the strains using the robot and we have also discarded several combinations that are not of our interest, with the remaining strains that we have selected, we grow them in serum bottles that are sealed because the aim of the project is to grow bacteria using carbon dioxide, hydrogen and oxygen. And so we need to keep the gases sealed inside the bottles. The bacterium is growing in a liquid medium. Once the, we have incubated the different strains into the bottles, we just take samples, we quantify the final amount of product that we have got. From here we can select the final strains that are of our interest. The idea is that in my case, when I introduce things in, in Cupria videos, I introduce them temporary, it just Somewhere in the cell, but it's not in the genome. We need more efficient techniques that allow us to do the work more rapidly, quickly, because some of these techniques take so long. Okay. For example, in my case, if I want to take out a piece of, um, of this genome, of the DNA, I can spend probably two or three weeks, whereas using the techniques that she's developing, probably we could do it in just a week or yeah. five days to get the final thing that you want. We are trying to get a molecule that has to be produced in an industrial scale. So it's very, very important the scale up. So here we would be producing tiny amounts, but the idea is to end up producing big amounts like kilograms, or I could end up saying maybe tons of 
some kind of product. The thing is we have to produce it also in a very cheap way to be able to be competitive with the products that have been produced using petro petroleum or fossil fuels. So for the scale up, we use fermenters, bioreactors. So we would go from here into here. We have a liquid media as well with essential salts. And then we are feeding gases through this tube. We've got hydrogen, we've got carbon dioxide, oxygen, and also air. All those gases are being fed into this machine where the mix of gases is done, and then it just comes through this tube and it's inserted into the reactor. You can control all the valves that allow you to say how much oxygen you want to introduce, how much hydrogen you want to feed, what is the mix. Sometimes when you scale up things, you are not able to reproduce them, so you don't, really don't end up having what you really wanted. So that is another step where you can discard as well other strains to just have the final thing that you would really, really, really want. We are on the way of producing strains and tools that are going to be applied into industrial applications for sustainable process. And we are just contributing in a very small piece. But in the end, this field is growing and growing. And it's something that we really, really need to put um, effort on it. And I think the SBRC is doing a really good work in that way. So basically, if you are a polluting industry, you can call us. <laughs> <laughs> call us. <laughs> SBRC. <laughs>